Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about how to take and track orders on SalesOn. SalesOn provides you with a mobile app for your on-field sales team to take orders and distributors can track the same through their admin console. To open the admin console, we need to hit app.saleson.co.in on the browser. Before taking orders, we need to make sure that we have a valid items list and a few customers to take orders from. The detailed videos to add customers and items will be provided to you in the description box. Let us now take orders through the mobile app. First, we'll select the route or beat for which we are supposed to take orders today. On selecting this, we can see a list of customers for this particular beat being loaded. We now select a particular customer to take orders from. On clicking new sale, we can see a list of the items being loaded. On clicking the item, you can see its detailed images, add free quantities, change the price and many more. Let us now add Cadbury mini treats to our cart. Let us add a discount of 40 rupees to this and add it to our cart. I am adding a few more items to our cart. I am now adding Cadbury eclairs to the cart for which I need to provide one quantity free on purchase of five quantities. This is now added to the cart. Next, I need to add this lace chili but at a different price. Let us change the price here and add it to our cart. Here, we see that the yellow lace classic is out of stock, yet we can take orders on this as well. Let us now review our cart. We see that the item with the discounted price, the item with free quantity, the item with a changed price and the out of stock item, everything is listed properly in the cart. You can control your Salesman mobile app permissions through the admin console. Go to Settings, Mobile App. Here you can see Allow Stock Out, Allow Price Update, Allow Free Quantity and Allow Discount which are turned on. These will allow your salesman to take orders on Stock Out, update the price, add free quantities and allow discounts for your customers. If you want to turn these off, you can configure it accordingly. Let us now move to the mobile app. Here in the cart, we can add some optional extra discount. We can attach some attachments like images and we can add some notes to the sales order. On clicking the place order button, we see that the order is successfully placed. From here, we can view the invoice, print it or take payments on this invoice. Also, we can share the invoice over WhatsApp. On clicking on view, we can see that the invoice has been correctly generated with all the necessary details. At this point, we can still edit our invoice by clicking the edit button on top. Let us add another product to our list and update the invoice. As soon as a sales invoice gets generated on the mobile app, it gets real-time synced with the admin console. Here you can see that the invoice is generated with all necessary details. Any invoice can have multiple status. Once it is moved to confirmed, we cannot edit the invoice. On the mobile app, we can see that the invoice edit button is not visible now. To create sales invoice from the admin console, click on create sales invoice button. Here we need to add our customer name and the items that we need to take orders for. On save, the invoice is generated successfully. We can configure the fields that we want in our invoice through invoice settings. 
We can also download the invoices in Excel format or in tally compatible format. From here we can also perform some bulk actions like selecting invoices and converting them to delivery chalan, changing the status of the invoices, printing them or even downloading the loading sheet. See you in the next video. Thank you.